Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. I do hope you're well. Uh, we're back in Oakland Zoo again. Uh, last episode we were working on our panda exhibit over here and it all came together really nicely actually. I was very happy with how this turned out, including our quirky little toilet on the side here. Uh, pandas are in and they're happy. Uh, people can observe them from the deck here. They can come and watch them in their outside area. We've got a little bridge set up. Yeah, I think the whole thing turned out pretty nice. So that's good. I was happy with that. Um, so what have we got left to do? Really, uh, there were sort of two bits. I was still going to try and do a play area over here, wasn't I? That's something that I still haven't got around to doing. I don't know if I will, but you never know. I might just stick another animal in there. Um, but this is our big area here. Um, and I was thinking of doing a couple of monkey, chimpanzee, orangutan type animals over here. Um, as well as possibly a small cafe as well in the middle. So that's what I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to do a cafe in the middle here. I'm thinking orangutan on one side and either chimpanzees or gorillas on the other. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but that's that's my plan. So uh, where do I want to start? Let's think. I really haven't planned this at all. Um, as you know, I've just had a baby, so I'm very busy at the moment. Not a lot of time to be, sort of plan ahead and think about these things, so I'm, I'm kind of doing it on the fly, as it were. Um, oh, do you know what? Do you know what? They've now brought in null pathing. Pa pathing? Pathing? What's the word I'm looking for? Null paths. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, now, let's have a look. I don't actually know if it's an option on a path, or is it in here as an option? Hmm. Maybe it's only on certain parts. Is it on these ones? Is that? Hang on, it's got a. Why has it got a coloring thing there? I'm sure, that's new. Let's have a look. Mm. Highlight hidden paths. Highlight hidden paths. Okay, so. There are hidden parts, I just don't know how to hide them. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be an option, does it, for hidden hidden paths? So I'm not sure where that is. That's a real shame. I would have thought that should be something that's really obvious. And it probably is really obvious. You're probably shouting at the screen right now telling me how I do that, but Oh, oh! Is it is it this? Is it natural path? Is it a whole new path? Is that new? I can't remember. Hang on, let me just. Ah, there we go. Natural path. Yeah. So it's a whole new path. So you can do it like that. So it all kind of just blends together. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. So. I could then just do that and it kind of yeah it just it highlights the edges when I'm in that option but as soon as I come out it goes away that's quite cool yeah I do like that because it just means that you get away, get away from having a, a hard edge or having those silly little um, logs down the side of a, a pathway like that see and under here see so I can come in here I can just make all of this natural, you see, and then it just hides all these annoying bits. Yeah, that looks much nicer, doesn't it? It's a bit long-winded. I'm not going to do the whole zoo like this, but obviously going into my next zoo, um, I will definitely use this more. I will just go along here because it it will look really nice. So it's, of course it's not going to let me do all of it, is it? It's going to be annoying. But there we go. Never mind. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? If it was just easy to use and perfect every time. There we go. 
Uh, whoops. Yeah, does it, that is a, that is a cool thing. I mean, it's something that we've been we've been talking about for a long, long time, and they just never put it in. But what it means is that you can do that, and then you can just kind of blend it all in a bit better, like that. Yeah, that looks nicer, doesn't it? I never got around to actually finishing off over here, so that's something that I'll do as well at some point. Might do that off camera, go around and do some small details like that. I'd rather get on with building for now. Um, so yeah, like here we see we've. <laughs> sorry, I've I've got to just. I've got to get rid of these bits, haven't I? Really, and just blend all of that into one big natural looking area like that. That's better. Right, hang on. Let's just. There we go. Let's get all that painted. That looks better, doesn't it? See, that is so so much nicer that you don't have to fill in the little gaps. You can just leave it open like that, and it looks so natural. They should have had that in from the start, really. Let's be honest. That is something that should have been in the game from day one. But it wasn't. But now it is, so it's all good. Right, so orangutans. Let's crack on with this. How do I want to do this? If I want a little cafe in the middle here. Um, I want orangutans over here. I've got an idea. I want them to have like a little tree house at the back of the habitat, right back here somewhere. Um, what I might do is create a a little side path. Actually, do you know what? I might even do this with. Oh, do I want? Do I want the natural path for this? Make it look like a. Yeah, I do. Um, let's bring it out like this. And I'll, I just want to create like a little extra walkway here and then bring it back in like that. And that's going to be the viewing area. And then I'll do some, some bushes, I think, down like that. Good. Yeah. Um, so let's get the barrier in. What kind of barrier am I thinking of for orangutans? It's gonna, they're going to need quite tall fencing. Um, and we'll see they do climb, so I'm going to have to make it so it's not climbable. So let's have a think about this. I quite like that they've got a little area here. I might. What did I put in this building? Oh no, that's right at the front there. I need to put some bushes back there to hide that. Um, hmm. Let's let's go here. Right, let's go this way. Uh, let's make this. Where are we? Let's make it non-climbable. Oh man, I, I'll I'll build it and then I'll raise the height up afterwards. I want. I'm thinking that the gate will go in here somewhere, the entrance, and then I'll bring it up the back here, right up onto this slope, I think, and around the back here. Let's just check out. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. And then bring it back down here. I'll play around with that a bit more. But that's pretty much what I had in mind. Let's move that to there. Let's just stretch that one to there. Okay. Bring that out. What sort of size are we looking at there? How does that look? It's a decent size, I think. If I've got two two orangutans in here, I think that should be fine. Um, the whole thing definitely needs to be lifted up a fair bit, I would say. Probably, yeah, sort of five and a half meters. And then let's get a habitat gate, I think, in the side here. And let's get that just connected in there. Ah, now that there's not any. Oh, hang on. Yes, is that. Has that made that a natural path? It has, because it's connected to that, even though I made it a staff path. That's interesting. I wonder if it's. So I, I can replace that or leave it as a natural looking path. That's quite cool, isn't it? 
yeah, I'll, I will leave it as a natural path because that's what I want it to look like. Um, actually, hang on. It's replaced a bit there that I didn't want it to. Let's just come back in here. Ah, that's all one piece, is it? Do you know what? Let's do it like that. And then I'll come back into here. And this can just be painted. Like so. Uh, and then this, this will eventually just get a load of bushes on it. I think there. Something like that. Hmm. Or do I want to just... Do you know what? I might just... I'm going to be using this natural thing quite a lot, I reckon. I think you've got to be careful with it because you can sort of lose the edges a bit too much, I reckon. But yeah, I think actually in this case, I think it will look quite nice if that's like that. And then I can I can create my own sort of little middle edge area with foliage. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, either foliage or rocks, I think, down the middle there. Um, that hasn't got a climbable bit on it. Okay, there we go. Good. That looks like a decent basic shape to me. Uh, let's just look at getting... Um, um, right, what am I doing? Uh, work zones. Let's just check on our work zones. So what, have we, what do we have... I think I just need a new work zone. Or oh, actually, no, what's this lake attached to? How do I find that out? Um, Flamingo Pond is only one habitat. Yeah, so let's take that and add on that habitat. I assume that uses those two there, does it? Yeah, they're highlighted blue, so I think that's those two. Good, okay. Right, so someone is at least covering that. Uh, let's have a look at getting some animals in then. So there are Bornean orangutan. So we'll get a male. Oh, Rimbo, what a great name. And Watty. There we go. Let's get those two in. Good. Okay. Uh, whoops. Let's just rename this one. Orangutan. I think I've spelt that right, but we'll check once they're in. So something I'm uh, I'm looking at doing on the channel. I am looking at starting some other series soon, hopefully. Uh, Planet Zoo is going to continue, and I've got a bit of an idea of what my next zoo is going to be. Um, but I do want to expand. I want to do other series, like I have done previously on the channel as well. Um, I won't be continuing any of the, the old series, but it may be the same games, if you see what I mean. So I love Foundation. Um, it's a really good city building game. Definitely want to play that again. Um, various sort of strategy games, city builders, that, things like that. City Skylines 2 when it comes out. I definitely want to have a look at that. Um, I'm also looking at just expanding my sort of my presence online a little bit. I'm I'm not a, a social media person, but I am looking at setting up a uh, like a Facebook page for my YouTube account, um, maybe an Instagram and a Twitter account as well, just to um, sort of expand the horizons a bit, um, give people more options of how they get my sort of notifications, stuff like that. So I'll let you know when, if and when that all gets sort of set up, and you can join me on those places as well. I'm not a big technology person. Um, which is an odd thing, I, I guess, for a, a gamer to be saying, but um, I don't really do technology, if I'm honest. Um, I certainly don't do social media. Uh, I never will. Um, but, you know, if, if it's from a just from a YouTube channel, then I'm not completely against it. If it helps get my name out there a bit more, helps get some more, more people into the channel as well, it's, um, it's worth doing for that. So, um, yeah, well, I'll keep you updated. Um, whether that happens or not. Here we go. So we have Watty and we have Rimbo. Let's have a look at their area. Make sure they can get about everywhere they can and they can't climb out, which is always a good thing. So, good. Right. What do we want to do in here? I'm hoping people are going to come and actually have a look at them. 
Uh, I'll tell you what I will do to help that. I will set up a quick media um, animal talk point over here. So that will be for orangutans. Uh, let's uh, let's leave that in March, shall we? Because we're almost in March now. So hopefully someone will come along nice and quick and do that. Actually, it's probably too quick. Let's let's just move it to April. They can't throw food in, but you know that's fine. Uh, let's just call this orangutan. Have I have I spot that right or wrong? Oh yeah, there we go. Orangutan. Yes, good. Cool, there we go, people are coming in, excellent. Right, so let's get some building going on. These guys can climb, I believe, quite well. Um, do you know what I might do, actually, is not put the treehouse right at the back. I'll, I, I think I might do it in the middle. Um, I was actually thinking of using proper construction blueprints rather than the, the climbable bits, necessarily. I quite like the idea of, uh, of actually using some of these in-game pieces. Uh, not that. Um, yeah, maybe that. Is that colourable? It's not colourable. What else have we got? I do like that. See, I love things like this as well. Actually, I could, I could make it a bit fancy, couldn't I? Or, or some of these. Yeah, let's go with the Arctic look. Let's do this. So it needs to be up in the air. And I guess. A decent size I would say um, I want it to be sh let's have a think I want it I want it to be a shelter tell you what let's let's do this right and then let's oh no, hang on let's go back to that sorry let's um, hopefully they can walk through that and then let's come into here And let's see, I'm thinking I can do like a, a platform outside like that. That does look massive, doesn't it? Is that too big? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can move that back a bit, actually. I can move that back a bit. Oh, have I missed I missed a bit of floor there. Yeah, that's fine actually. I can I can work with that. Okay, and then let's get a bit of roofing on. Um how do I want this to look? Yeah, it doesn't need to be a really big pointed roof, I don't think. Actually, do you know what? I might actually just bring it out like that. And give them this... Um, Give them a like a balcony here, but make it covered. I think that's pretty cool, so they can stay out here. Um, let's go back to uh, let's go back to this one. Yeah, let's have a look at uh, these beams. Where were they? Um, yeah, these these are cool. Let's get the old angle snap on. Yeah, I think they they just look good, don't they? Let's bring that just forwards a bit. Can I lift that up any more? Uh, let's have a look. Do I want to have these? Do I just want two or do I want them at the edge as well? Yeah, I think right on the edge here as well it would look pretty good. So they, they'll have a little sort of private area in here, um, but they'll also be able to walk around out on here. And then I've just got to work out how they can climb up and down to it. I'll figure that out in a minute. But I do want to make it look nicer. So I'm just going to have a look at getting in, yeah, some stuff like that. Just, just so it looks a bit nicer. OK, 
Okay, that's good. I'm wondering, just have a look at lifting that up. Do I need it at the top as well? It does look nice at the top actually as well. If I just bring it forward the tad so it's covering up the other pieces. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Right, now I didn't quite finish off the wall inside here. What have I got here? I don't think that's right, is it? No, I need this one. Uh, I need that set right as well. Uh, let's. Oh, I can't see where I'm building. Hang on. It's always awkward trying to build where you can't quite see. There we go. And then I've got one of these. Uh, yep, good. That is looking nice. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do actually, because it doesn't look particularly nice at the side. If I just flip that round, bring it over to the edge here as well. And like that, and then spin around again. Oh no, I actually don't need to spin it around because it's double sided. Silly me. Never mind. There we go. Nice, that looks good. Good, good, good. Okay, um, I need something on this inside bit here. If I just come back to here, there are some nice bits of patterning like that, which I quite like. Kind of like these things as well. I'm not sure what they are, what they do, but they look kind of cool. I don't know. Do they do they do anything? Not really sure to be honest. I love these little details, but you don't always need them. But I just I do like to just play around with stuff sometimes. Just kind of chuck stuff on and see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't mind that. Oh, that's a nice piece, isn't it? Not sure it really does anything, though, does it? No, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a lovely piece. Um, or that. Oh, let's have a look. I wonder if that could actually be used to make that look nicer. It does, doesn't it? Look at that. That does look nice. Ooh. Let's just get it even if I can. I'll lift it up as high as I can actually, like that. Make sure it's not sticking out of the roof. Okay, at least just sticking out of the roof. Let's just bring that down to there. That's much nicer, isn't it? Uh, I maybe still need a beam underneath it, I think. So that's probably going to be one of these again. Oh, no, I could go with a round one actually, couldn't I? Hang on, let's just do that. That works for me. I think that looks pretty good. Nice. Hopefully they can walk through there. We'll find out in a minute. Um, I might just detail the side bit here as well. Let's just do that. That looks good. Another one back here. You hear my baby crying. It's never good. Let's just move that one back in. My girlfriend is in with my daughter, so hopefully she's sorting things out. I think she's having a bad evening. It's never nice when your baby cries and you don't know why. Yeah, that looks good. I'm liking that now. Um, so I do need to work out how to get them up and down. I think I am. Oh, do you know what? I'd love to use something like that as a ramp. Let's 
that looks a bit more solid doesn't it let's have a go I have no idea if this will work but it does look kind of cool doesn't it I don't know if they'll be able to actually use this though. I don't know if they can walk on it or not but I, I like the idea of it so I will give it a go see that just looks cool doesn't it and then if it can be taken right down like that let's find out um, I'm thinking it needs to go further back See, there, there is no problem with it being right to the back because they won't be able to climb up on it hopefully I know I still need to put legs on it let's just see what they can do can they get up there not quite ah oh, that's a real shame I wonder if I can sort that out though by putting up a let's have a look see if there's a, a climbable something that I can put on here and kind of blend it in okay let's get the angle snap turned off this is what I'm thinking if I can sort of do that maybe so they can walk up the, the climbable log and make it look like they're climbing up the other bit. No, that's not worked at all, has it? I reckon I can make that work. Oh, hang on. It says they can climb on it now, but they still can't get up to the top there. Hmm. Okay, let's lose that. Let's come into here and let's just experiment with this. Whoa, hang on. <laughs> I want to rotate that straight. Okay, why is it? What is it doing? Uh, never mind. Let's uh, let's see. Hang on. Yeah, this is confusing, isn't it? <laughs> it's never as easy as it should be when you're trying to do this sort of manoeuvring. Oh my word! This is all over the place now. This is uh, terrible. Okay, how's that? See if they can climb on it upside down like that. No, I don't think this is going to work, is it? Oh, why are you hungry? Why have you not been fed yet? Um, yeah, call a keeper. Surely somebody should be looking after this, this lot. Look, they've got food there. You can't be hungry, you've got food. They're probably thirsty. To be fair, I should probably, uh, I should probably give them a little, a little bit of water down here, maybe. Down by the front. There we go. Now we've got some food and some water. No, okay. So this this is not working, unfortunately. No, they they cannot use it. Okay, it was a nice idea. Um, let's just see if there's anything else I could use. I just want something that looks a bit different, you know. I mean, even something like that actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I can even maybe yeah, maybe one with a pattern like that. Okay, let's try this. And that steepness is probably okay and then I'll make it a couple wide actually hang on let's 
let's go down first Okay, let's see if they can walk up that. Yes, there we go. Now they can get up there and they can go through the door. They can get inside. Wonderful. So let's just get some bedding in there for them. Um, hang on. There we go. Excellent. I mean, that is quite a monster of a house. Um, I might bring it down, actually. It doesn't need to be quite so tall. I kind of like the idea of this underneath being quite, um, quite hidden. So I can put some legs on the house. Um, Actually, I could e I could even do it with rocks, couldn't I? I could use rocks to to create this and and create like a an underground walking caving type area for them. If I do some rocks at the back here, um, and then or maybe rocks at the back and then maybe legs at the front would look good. In fact, I tell you what would look good. There's um, there are some nice arches, aren't there? Not those; those are too small. No, there are some. Um, yeah, this one. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love this piece. It just looks so cool. It offers so much, this piece. There, what do we think to that? Oh, I wonder if they can climb on that. I'm hoping they can walk through it. Yeah, look at that. They can walk through it. That's good. And they can they can get under here. Yeah. So I can put some rocks at the back here, and um, and they can walk through the gaps and get in underneath. And then I can just put a load of foliage in. Hopefully he's going to go up the slope, up to his bed. Excellent. There we go. Good. So from down here, let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, that is looking nice, isn't it? That's cool. Still needs a lot of work, um, but that is a good start. Pretty good basic shape for the, the habitat and the house. Um, okay, yeah, I'm liking that so far. I might actually be able to bring the fencing down. It does look a little bit overpowering, doesn't it, I would say. It probably could, because obviously in real life it would have to have some pretty serious stuff on it to stop them climbing out, but actually because it's not real life because it's a game I don't know if you knew that but it was only it's only a game um, I can get away with less make it look a bit less imposing yeah that looks nice doesn't it and I know at the moment this really stands out it looks massive but I think once I get some trees and some foliage all around it um, I think it will look okay well hopefully it will look really good <laughs> that's the hope um, but we'll see I'll just have to keep going with it and then uh, I'll do a small cafe area here and then something in here, either chimpanzees or a couple of gorillas. Um, not too sure which yet, depends what I want to do. I might even change my mind and not do another sort of ape over here at all. I might do something completely different. We shall see. Um, but for now, that's going to be it for this episode. So I will leave you with a little shot of our sleeping orangutans. Nice. Still thirsty, of course, because I haven't been down for a drink yet, which is... A bit silly. I'm assuming they can reach the water. Yeah, they can get all around it. So I assume that means they can drink from it if they really wanted to. Um, great, let's leave it there. Um, so what do you think? Um, do you think this is going to end up looking okay? Answers on the postcards or down in the comment section if you want to say something. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video and you like my series and you want to support the channel, then please do hit the like button. Um, like I said, I will keep you up to date with all my other potential uh, avenues of uh, of notifications and things with the other you know the social media things if and when I get around to it um, 
and please do let me know if you've got games that you would like to see me play as well anything to recommend um, there was one called sweet transit which I bought recently and had a look at don't actually like the look of it I'll be honest so I'm not sure I'm gonna be giving that one a go just yet um, I might go back to some of my classics that I know I love um, and know how to play um, so I don't know what, what it was about sweet transit it just didn't click with me when I went through the tutorials um, didn't pull me in so um, obviously if it doesn't pull me in I'm, I don't want to play it just for the sake of it I only want to play games that I know I love um, but yeah we'll see um, but yeah please do leave any comments if you've got anything you want to say and hopefully you join me in the next episode don't know when that will be but we will be continuing our orangutan habitat just here um, so until then do take care and thank you very much for your company I'll see you soon